like why you had to take my brother's way Money and my mattress, but I had to cap another shit I just got another shit, I just got another shit All these bitches on me now now, first off, prayers up to Jimmy Butler. The man was having an amazing season, and this NBA season has been filled with injuries, and as fans and just spectators of the sport, this just sucks, and it also ruins all the amazing storylines that we wanted to see, but unfortunately, injuries got in the way, and now you can add Jimmy Butler to that list, as he could be out from four to six weeks with a torn meniscus in his right knee, and it could actually be even more, depending on how the surgery goes. Although it may not be a season ending injury, this could have a significant impact on the Wolves season as a whole as this could actually cause them to miss the playoffs and as crazy as that sounds, it's possible and right now as I speak, they are 4th in the Western Conference and although you may think they're in a safe position, but they are actually far from that. Right now, they have a record of 37 and 26 and are only two and a half games up from the A seed and are only three and a half games away from falling out of the playoffs as a whole. And with Jimmy Butler gone, this might as well could happen. We all remember the pre Jimmy Butler Timberwolves. They were one of the worst teams in the NBA. And yeah, I know they added guys like Jeff Teague and Jamal Crawford and Taj Gibson, but is that really enough? in a tough Western Conference and Jimmy Butler was a huge part of their offense but even more so their defense. Jimmy Butler was also their go-to guy and this is gonna lead me to why I think Tom Thibodeau is to blame for Jimmy Butler's injury or is partially to blame. Now Tom Thibodeau has a history or is known for playing his guys on extremely high minutes. If you look at other coaches in the NBA like Steve Kerr or, or Greg Popovich who likes to rest their players or not make them play big minutes, well Tom Thibodeau is like the complete opposite. If you look at Jimmy Butler, this NBA season he ranks second in minutes played at 37.1 minutes per game and I believe that Tom Thibodeau's coaching style has a correlation with his players health and if you look at Derrick Rose and when he suffered his injury or his ACL injury it was against the 76ers in the fourth quarter with a little more than a minute left in a 12 point game that was already decided and yet Tom Thibodeau had him play needlessly near the end of the game like why and if we look at Zach Levine which is actually even worse Tom Thibodeau had him playing 37.7 minutes per game last season with the Wolves and he also had him playing on a torn ACL. Yeah, the dude was playing on a torn ACL the night he suffered his injury. And how many other countless players had suffered career ending injuries under Tom Thibodeau or haven't been the same after being coached by Tom Thibodeau? You know, to name a few, there was Kevin Garnett and Joakim Noah and there was also Lou Aldang which both Joakim Noah and Luol Deng never been the same after being coached by Tibbs and for some reason he has something against using his bench as well. This NBA season, the Wolves bench ranks last in minutes played per game at only 13.5 minutes played per game and they also rank last in scoring also and they are just overall the worst bench in the NBA as I speak and it seems to be the same case for Tom Thibodeau every single year. Also for some reason he doesn't like to play rookies as well and if you look at Chris Dunn as an example, Tibbs never gave him the opportunity to play while he was in Minnesota but right now as the Chicago Bulls he has been thriving this NBA season but I'm not saying Tibbs is the bad coach overall it's just that he likes to burn his players out a lot or he likes to overuse his players which isn't good. He needs to learn to utilize his bench which he has not been doing and needs to stop relying heavily on his star players and remember this past offseason when they acquired Jamal Crawford and how everyone was saying that they had a great bench now and I'm gonna be honest I was one of those guys also I even made a video talking about it but you know but that has not been the case at all this NBA season because look if he doesn't learn to utilize his bench then he'll never have a healthy roster to try and compete for a title or to make a deep playoff run in the future. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. What do you think of Tom Thibodeau as a coach? I'd love to hear you guys out once again. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, share and subscribe for more NBA content. But with that being said, I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you all later. Peace. This is a Chucky Beat production.